So today I'm proud to bring you a, a world exclusive, if you like. Um, behind me, there is the first ever Haynes 36 sedan, which has just arrived from Norfolk yesterday down here at Walgrave. And I wanna give you a quick walk round. So the 32 sedan and offshore have been uh, incredibly successful models for Haynes. And this boat comes to uh, join the range. It doesn't replace those two boats. This joins alongside for those people wanting a slightly larger boat. This is the sedan version. It's an inshore boat, an estuary, but there is an offshore version available as well. And that would give you uh, the option to spec up twin engines. Being a sedan boat, she's all on one level, so it's a great, a great easy boarding and an easy boat to move around. You've got a nice big, deep swim platform, great for stern to uh, approaching the boat. I'm just going to step across now and take you in. But before we go on board, just give you a quick look into the aft deck there, which is a really, a really spacious area. I'm going to get you in there, but just a great view there through from the boat to see what the layout's like. So this boat builds on the success of the 32 sedan and offshore, as I just mentioned. And one of the signature aspects of, of that boat uh, is the patio doors that slide and completely fold away. They're bringing this outside aft deck in to feel like it's the main part of the boat, giving you that sort of inside outside vibe. Um, this boat, it, the gain in size is really noticeable here on the aft deck. Um, and you, this is a great, seating and dining area. Just to complement that, you, you've got that seat there and you can probably see from the side that that's got a flip over backrest. So you can have that forward facing as it is now if it's forming part of the saloon seating or you can flip that over as I were about to do. Um, and then it's uh, aft facing and it will work nicely with a table being out here um, to make a nice social area. The other big change on this boat um, is it's a fixed aft peak on it. Um, and that's got three skylights in it. Uh, the central one is open, as you can see, and the other two are fixed. So this is the standard layout for this boat, but there are others available. We've already talked about uh, this seat flipping over um, and you end up uh, with two L-shaped areas to make that so like a nice central social area. One particularly clever thing, which I'm gonna show you in a minute, is that uh, you've got your, uh, your helm seat is on that side, which is a nice wide helm seat. But this seat here as well has a flip over motion, so you can have it as it is to form part of this settee arrangement, or that flips over to give you a um, twin navigation to see over on that side. So I've just flipped that over. Um, as you can see, that works really well. It'd be lovely if you were underway uh, as a big group. I think you can see how nice that would be to have that twin seat there. You've got the galley bulkhead in front of you, so have your drinks on there. There's storage down there, huge amounts of storage underneath. Um, and then you're directly opposite the skipper over on that side. I touched on storage a minute ago, but I think it's something that Haynes have really focused on with this boat. And if you're having longer trips, uh, away. Everyone will know that does that on a regular basis how important it is to have tons of storage. Uh, you've got that unit there which is a big drawer and cupboard underneath for your drinks. You've got deep drawers under these seats and there and then the large cupboard there and also under there. So all, all space um, that's underneath things has been carefully thought through. The helm on this is really nicely set out and with a really quality appointment. It depends on the spec that you go for. Obviously the dials and setup could be different if you wanna have chart plotters and so on in there. You choose uh, that arrangement within the confines of the space that's available. This particular boat, as you can see, is fitted with bow and stern thrusters. Um, I haven't pointed out other extras as we go around, but I'll try and do that a little bit. It's also fitted with a battery uh, charger and inverter just on the wall over there. Leather upholstery, which is probably obvious, but I'll point that out anyway. And uh, other things we'll come to as we go through the boat. So I'm just gonna take you down into the galley. Avonite work tops are actually standard on the boats. That's really nice. It gives you a nice slick finish um, that makes everything look uncluttered. You've got twin stainless steel sinks with a mixer tap. You can see the other one just ahead of that. Twin burner hob, integrated bin or ice bucket as somebody else said to me earlier. Really decent sized isotherm fridge with a freezer compartment in there. Oven over on that side. Storage below. And tons of storage above. 
Lots of nice little details as you go around. Everything's soft touch. You've got LED backlighting as well behind all these pelmets. And then I'll take you through into the forward cabin. This boat, this boat has the standard arrangement, which is uh, with this forward island double berth. You can spec this boat with a different layout, with a mid berth and um, a port side galley uh, at the upper level. So if you'd like to discuss that with us, we can talk you through how that layout would look. That's your forward cabin. Um, really nicely appointed, tons of storage. A nice feature on Haynes is that storage is always backlit as well, so you're not fumbling around in the dark. And one of the big changes from this, as well as the extra space over the 32, is that in your toilet compartment, you have actually got a separate shower as well, so that's really nice. You gain a lot of space. Again, I think that's nice if you're on uh, long periods on the boat. So I gave you the view as we walked through um, aft to forward so i'd like to give you the same view going back so you get a feel for the boat and how it looks um anybody that's seen any of my other videos on the haynes i do talk about just how light and airy it is obviously we don't have the best weather in the uk at times and if you want a boat that you can use to the maximum of the season realistically you are going to be inside quite a bit so you've got really big windows all the way around so you've got a great view out and you can imagine a situation yeah today's a nice sunny day but if it was hammering it down with rain and it was cold in the summer and a bit blowy you'd have those rear doors closed but you'd still have the view you'd have your heating on um, and you'd be in here really snug but you'd still have uh, the amazing view out around you so that's really where I think one of the many reasons that they come into their own for UK boating. So I've talked a little bit about uh, how light and spacious it is in here and one uh, thing I'd really like to draw your attention to which is a new feature to this boat over the 32 sedan. So we've got these twin sunroofs up here uh, and a nice touch is that these are now electrically operated. So just come around to the helm, you've got two buttons, you can operate them independently and let the sun shine in. Nice feature. So I talked about uh, storage in the saloon and in the galley. One other thing uh, I'll just talk you through is the other storage outside. Again, for longer periods traveling, you've got this lazarette, which on this boat is huge. Um, more and more of us have things like inflatable paddle boards, dinghies, tenders, electric outboards, barbecues, all that kind of stuff. And uh, this, this is huge, it's absolutely massive. So you've got tons of storage space down under there and it's quite easy to access because underneath that cover which is the screen cover for the boat there is a step so it's quite easy for you to get in and out on top of that you've got more storage under this rear bench that's a just a general storage locker there if it's the offshore version you could fit your life raft in there you've got your gas locker on that side and then on both sides of the boats you've got these wing lockers which are quite useful as well for other storage so just before i round off all together I'll, I'll try and give you uh, just a general walk around of the outside of the boat so you can get the lines. There will be photographs coming um, onto our website and both onto the Haynes website. But I'll just walk you around so you can see there's some signature touches for all the Haynes. It does have nice wide side decks, so it's a very easy boat to walk around <clears throat> and plenty of grab handles. So you do feel secure and you're not tottering along um, a small deck. Hull options, uh, we've got this in the classic dark blue. You can go for white, there is also a grey. Um, so come and talk to us if we can decide what looks best for you and look at uh, other options as well. So I hope you found this quick debut video useful. Uh, we wanted to be a quick snapshot of the boat. Um, just to give you a taster of it. Um, please contact us. I could have gone through all the specs, all the engine options and all the things that are available, but I don't want to take up too much time on the video. Contact us for that. Uh, either give any of the sales team here a ring uh, or email us on our main email address, which I'm going to put in the link to the video. And uh, we're here to answer your questions. And if you'd like to make an appointment to come and see the boat, please give us a call.